The playground, just one piece of renovation construction on Riverfront Park. It's been a work in progress over the last five years. The $75 million project is finally wrapped up and our Morgan Trow caught up with the city to see what is officially finished and what still needs to get done. Redeveloping major spaces in Spokane seemed like a far away dream a decade ago. That year, the city's Parks and Recreation Department pitched an $100 million master plan for Riverfront Park revitalization. You know, and it's a lot of visions that have been in the works for a long time. It really gave me goosebumps, you know, to be a part of this process really back in 2012. Two years later, community members voted to pass a $64.3 million bond. It was for five key projects that Parks Director Garrett Jones and his team pitched. The transformation of the North Bank is one of the largest transformations in the entire project. The new North Bank will be opening Friday at 11 in the morning. It features a playground, basketball court, skate park, climbing boulder, and so much more. Construction began on the monumental redevelopment plan in 2016. By 2020, four of the five main aspects were finished. These are the Tier 1 key projects. It includes the Skate Ribbon and Sky Ride facility, updated Loof Carousel building, renovated U.S. Pavilion, the Howard Street Promenade, and now the redone North Bank. Additional projects on the master plan were completed with a mix of bond funds, grant funding, or private donations. So altogether, they had about $75 million to work with. Riverfront Park in our downtown is our crown jewel, and that brings people together, and that also helps us maintain and support our local businesses around this region, too. So, bright future for, for Spokane. There is still more to come. Two art projects are set to be installed early this fall. The North Suspension Bridge will be renovated in 2022, and they are looking to returning the lilac butterfly after it fell down in the January windstorm. The trust and patience that the citizens, I mean, it's really the congratulations goes to, to everyone that's using the parks. It's been quite a journey, but he says they aren't slowing down. This June, the city will be sending out a public survey to renovate neighborhood parks. They want to hear from you about what you want in your neighborhood. Morgan Trow, Creme 2 News.